Welcome back, True Seeker. Monday, November 27th, 2017. The big news story in the world today, the royal family, Prince Harry, his engagement to the actress Meghan Markle announced, a woman who's from the United States. And now this evening, mainstream media reporting that they are cousins. They are blood relatives, these two, which shouldn't come as any surprise. All throughout the world, people in high places are related to the same royal bloodline. But here's what's interesting about this in Gematria. Now we're getting places. As we talked about this morning, Meghan Markle, having named Gematria of 216, is born on the 216th day of the year. Harry, Prince of Wales, his title, also has Gematria of 216. And what's interesting about 216 is it's the product of 6 times 6 times 6. If you multiply those three digits together, it equals 216. Meghan Markle's 36 years old right now. Her birthday is August 4th, 1981. 36 is an interesting number. 666 is the 36th triangular number, meaning if you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 all the way up to plus 36, it equals 666. So there's a major 666 theme going on here. And now to find out that they're relatives, they're related. Interestingly enough, the word relatives in Gematria has Sumerian value of 666. Just like how fingers has Sumerian gematria of 666? You know, you see a lot of these people signaling the 666 sign. I guess I should do it this way. Wait, I'm getting dyslexic. Yeah, that's right. You see how that's like a 666? It's like each finger in the circle represents six. You see a lot of people signaling this. You see celebrities putting it around their eye. Donald Trump, when he talks, always putting this up. Watch the film Network, which came out in 76. Swear to God, that's the best movie ever made. Most important movie to watch if you're a truth seeker. There's a famous scene. Ned Beatty takes this man in the boardroom and explains to him that we don't live in a world of countries. We live in a world of dollars and cents and business. And in Gematria, dollar sign equals 666. So does the word business. And when he gets to that speech and he starts talking about dollar signs and business, with both hands, he starts doing this. He doesn't do it in the speech until he gets dollar sign and business. And in Gematria, those both equal 666. You see? So I don't think it's any coincidence that relatives also equal 666 in light of what we're seeing here with this ritual, with Harry and his bride-to-be, Meghan Markle. Also interesting, relatives has Gematria of 132, like England, like United States of America, like Westminster. Princess Diana, her name equaled 132. She died 132 days after the Queen's 71st birthday. Royal equals 71. In the book, I have a very long chapter on murder by numbers. I show how her death was perfectly synced with the Queen, as well as the man she'd gotten divorced to the summer earlier, Prince Charles. Couldn't have been any more perfect the day she supposedly died, neither could the location. And if I'm not mistaken, she was 36 years old when she passed. And now here's her son, Prince Harry, getting married to this woman. And something else I noticed about Meghan Markle. Hold on. Let me check. Is it this? It's with her full name. Something else I noticed about her name is it equals 97, like the year Princess Diana died. I, I don't think this is any coincidence. I think this is all part of the ritual, you know? Princess Diana dead in 97. Remember the word death equals 97. Notorious B.I.G. died that year by the numbers. 97, you know. The biggest beneficiary from the death of Notorious B.I.G. was who? Jay-Z and his Rockefeller Records, you know. Anyway, that's a side topic. Continuing with this... 666216 ritual. Her full name, Megan or Rachel Megan Markle. Where'd I put it at? Her full name right here equals 331. 
That's the 67th prime number. 331's the 67th prime. Satanic equals 67. You know, 666, number of the beast. Satanic rituals. This announcement comes today, the 331st day of the year too, right? Also interesting, in the reverse reduction cipher, Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, and Freemasonic, all 63. You could think of that number as 6-3. Six, 6-3 three. Six, three times? Maybe. Again, her birthday is August 4th, the 216th day of the year. United States of America, 84, like masonry. Today is the 331st day of the year, leaving 34 days left. Rachel has Gematria yeah, of 34, her real first name, even though she goes by Meghan Markle. Purple equals 34, the color of royalty. Today's the 74th day of Harry being 33 years old, that big number for Freemasonry. 74. So again, if you think this is a coincidence, let's take a look at this picture right here. Here's Prince Harry posing with Melania Trump, who really knows how to make an evil face. I should look up my blog post of her with these children from a couple weeks ago on her trip to Asia with Donald Trump. It is it's maybe the creepiest photo I've ever seen in my life. But uh, anyway, she was posing with Prince Harry for the Invictus Games. And Prince Harry took a bunch of different photos and different po poses. You can look this up. I just showed two of them right here. But he kept his hand in this, you know, sign the whole time. And some people say this is the devil horn sign. I, I don't exactly know what this hand symbol means. But there is no doubt that the people who rule over us are absolutely satanic Especially if you know what say, Satanism ultimately is. Satanism is self-worship. It's putting yourself ahead of everything else. And the people who rule over us, I mean, they're greedy tyrants. They don't care about truth. They don't care about honesty. They don't care about their fellow man. They care about their own power, their own control, their own wealth. That is satanic. And sadly, these tyrants rule over us. And they control our media. They control our programming. They make our entertainment for us. And it's constant reinforcement of, you know, the things they're into. So the people are programmed by those who are satanic. And you look at the values within our society, you know, who isn't out for themselves? Almost everyone is. You know, almost everyone's all about themselves and their own family. And, and they say F everyone else, you know. So... I mean, you don't think these people are up to rituals and are into, you know, secret knowledge and symbolism? I mean, what's this guy doing through a whole photo shoot holding this hand pose? And here, just real quick, I'm going to see if I can pull up this post. Melania Trump children. Let me see. Oops, I got to spell her name right. I, I want to see if I can pull this up. You guys got to see this. I hope this pulls it up. No, that's not the one. That's Inauguration Day. <sighs> Let me try again. The, I, I just never seen anything like this. She was posing with Asian children. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, did they Photoshop her eyes? There's just something wrong with this photo. I've never seen anything that looks more sinister in my life. Something very sick about this photo. And it reminds me of her eyes next to Prince Harry doing his crazy signs. But anyhow, somebody just left me this comment right before I made this video. And in case he's watching this one, I want to make sure he sees this. You know, Derek who's built this calculator, he likes to make videos and he likes to, you know, he likes to be very thorough with all the ciphers. And while it is interesting, I know that people are watching his videos and they're saying, well, this guy's just picking and choosing and he's using all these different ciphers to make his point. But the thing to understand is there really is major relationships with these different ciphers. And check this out. 
If I write the word profit using the English extended cipher, it sums to 503. And that's the 96th prime number. And when you think of the word prophet, you probably think of the Quran, the prophet Muhammad. If you look up what's up with the Quran, supposedly the 96th book of the Quran is the first one that Muhammad ever saw. The 96th, the first one the prophet ever saw. Do you think that's coincidental? Think about this guy right here, Muhammad Ali. Gematria of 96, as well as 42, number stamped all over black history. The divisors of 42, some to 96. A boxing ring is 96 feet around. If you type in the word prophecy, it equals 52, and Muhammad Ali became Muhammad Ali at age 22. He died at age 74, 52 years later. And when he changed his name from Cassius Clay to Muhammad Ali, he said he was giving up his slave name, which equals 52. And with regards to him changing at age 22, the master builder number, Ali equals 22, also equals 59, like Negro, like slave, like blues. His first name, Cassius Clay, Gematria of 33, like masonry, CC, 33 initials. Part of the reason I'm showing you guys is so you understand that this code is bigger than the royal family. This is the Cabal Code, Kabbalah. And all the things in the world of media and entertainment are controlled by this code. Every single thing. And the coding is deep. The ciphers are layered. There's a lot of relationships. And, you know, I'm always learning more. Somebody just showed this to me the other day. If you type in Ohio State, it equals 643, and that's the 117th prime, right? Let me make sure I got I think we need the Jewish cipher up here, too. Ohio in Jewish gematria is 117. And Ohio is known as the Buckeye State. Buckeye has this gematria of 117. You see this? You see how all these different ciphers come together? I mean, doesn't that seem like it's well beyond coincidence? 643, the 117th prime. Long before I knew about all these ciphers, I used to talk about how often the Cleveland Cavaliers in Ohio would win their game with 117 points. And I knew that about Jewish gematria, that Ohio was 117. We didn't know reverse ordinal back then. But then we find reverse order and we go, oh, Buckeye's 117, Ohio, the Buckeye State. And, you know, and then along the way, after I was already revealing this pattern with the Cavs, then they started calling LeBron James the Godfather, you know? Then all of a sudden he earned this nickname, the Godfather, 117. So, anyway, just trying to share some knowledge with you guys, help you see... You know, how big this code is. Of course, the Quran wasn't originally written in English, but understand, the people who are creating all these languages, creating all these religions, creating all these nations, they are the same group of people, you know? I suppose this guy's a Muslim here and he thinks the Quran's the truth. All these religious books come from the same group of people. The Abrahamic religions are all one and the same. Judaism, Christianity, Islam. They're all part of the same story. And they're all broken up to divide people. That's what the whole game is for the tyrants. To keep people divided, distracted, fighting over nonsense, falling into traps. You know? I'm trying to teach you guys the skill to see through all of it. This is the skill to see through all of it. This is the knowledge of the elites. It's knowledge that wasn't supposed to be for we the people. Nobody was ever supposed to figure this out. And I guarantee you, if I hadn't cracked the code in 2013, nobody would know about this still. And what I said back then, if you go back to my earliest work, which has now all been deleted, I mean, my blog's still up. But what I used to always say is I said, watch, people are going to come along with the right minds who get what I'm teaching, and they're going to help take this code further. And I was explaining then that I knew that there was more. I'd read in this book by Faith Giovanni that there were over 200 ciphers in use in the English language. 
over 200 ciphers. And I thought, wow, what could they be? Because <laughs> I only knew two at the time. I was thinking, man, there's 100 times as many ciphers. And Derek, you know, he's taking the time to research and find more ciphers, and he's doing a very good job. Now, personally, I wish when he made videos, he would just stick to the four base ciphers from majority of his work instead of, like, using every single cipher. Because I, I, some people are into it, but I guarantee that the majority of people who are watching his videos are not into it. And they're not following. They're thinking, wait, what? What's this cipher? And where does that come from? I mean, with the four base ciphers, you can explain it. You know, you can say, this one's the alphabetic order. This one's the alphabetic order in reverse. These are the rules of numerology. You know? Which is exactly what you're looking at here. A, the first letter. In reverse, A becomes 26. You see? Z, in reverse ordinal, is the beginning. In English ordinal, it's the end. 26 letters. And then just the rules of numerology. You see? 26 is 2 plus 6 is 8. 1 is already reduced. See, it's just the same thing. So, you know, Derek's doing a good job, but... I think, I think his videos, he also wouldn't spend so much time putting his videos together. You know, Derek spends a lot of time building a video and I think it might be more helpful for him to cover more topics and be less thorough showing a million different ciphers for each thing, you know. So just sending some advice out there, Derek. Derek's already heard it from me. But, uh. You know, I wish he would take that advice. I think it would serve him well. He'd be able to cover more topics. And I mean, you don't you don't need to saturate the point with these videos. You don't need to show that it sums to this, 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 and a million ciphers. I mean, th this right here is enough. You know, this right here is undeniable. Again, you can prove almost everything with the four base ciphers. Everything else just icing on the cake. But at the same time, these other ciphers they all are all part of a complex system. So. We'll leave it there, truth seeker. Until next time.